taking off Spooktober. Here's a Fathom 4. Ironbark Lookout. If you have missed any of my Fears of Fathom gameplays, one, two, and three, check the description below. They are all linked. Uh, I have a specific playlist uh, specifically for Fears of Fathom. Um, and if, if I know how to put a card up, up, up here, wherever the fuck that shit is up there, I'm gonna put it up there. If it's not up there, I ain't know how to put it up there. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Anyway, let's get spooked to fly. Right. What? Oh, oh god damn! Oh! Have you shown yourself to the children? Oh, you can change the wording of that, bro. My ears would have perked up like a dog. There's an orb. There's an orb. That's wild, bro! I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Ah, Washington, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, miles and miles of dense forest managed by a forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. Yeah, yeah, forestry people don't make shit. I wanted to be one for a while until I realized that them bitches only make $25,000 a year. Starting. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. Because they don't make shit. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. Because they broke as fuck. <laughs> that RV was the only sense of home I had at that time. Alright, Nelson. There's one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. All right, let's do the last. All right, we got the one a bango. <laughs> giggity giggity. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's good? Mitch Scott. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm trying to read, bit. Shit. Music dope, but it's y'all's in my ear. Congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to tell you, uh wait. Just reaching to you to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower Eleven. Welcome on board. Typos left and right. This is Mitch, by the way, from Iron Bark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. I know, I tell people about everybody. You know, apparently I'm a gossiper and I like that shit. <laughs> very excited. <laughs> very, very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts on the 12th. Sounds good, I'll be there. Anything I need to know? Uh, I have your papers, just bring your ID. Josh again told me the job is not news to you. Can I just ask you one question? Did he do it? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoyed the drill. The drill? Thrill. Or lack of, I guess. I'm sorry. I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. I guess they're better off in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, can't do the city of life. This is where I belong, and I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Iron Bark or Iron Horse? Because it's two different references. Good. I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park the van? Just park... Wait. So, wait. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel. Park by gate D. Got it. It's a long ass thread, bro. Uh, excuse me. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. Park in the back uh, by gate D. Take the Gold Creek Trail 
From there, you'll take a couple of hours until you reach the tower. Damn. Got it, thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ride. Message Kayla Nelson. <laughs> this new region manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up in nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. <laughs> wish my job was really easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. <laughs> like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. Because, you know, I talk to everybody, apparently. <laughs> it's my forte. It's definitely time for a change. Speaking of change... Yak Nelson. Oh, fire department. Fire lookout. Uh oh, okay, cool. Stay to watch it. Iron Bark? They're staffing me to Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah. I heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With Dad, I'll call you back. Wait, why you say call me? Need... Okay. How's it looking? Oh, wait, wait. <clears throat> How's it looking? Still on the way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today. Out of all the days. Isn't it late? Uh, if I don't start to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? God. Too much reading, man. Let's get back to the yams. I mean, the jams. Not the booty cheeks. <laughs> I apologize right now. Allergies are fucking with me I live a very solitary life let me pay attention to the road I lived a very solitary life it helps quiet my mind keep the memories at bay I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Should have Maurice. I don't know the dude's name, but we're just gonna call him Maurice. Uh. I remember there's this diner while passing Rosen, Roseburg, typo. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. You're welcome. That's what my RV sound like, bro. I need to get a tune up. Oh, there it is. My dumbass. Come in here. Can you come in here? Yeah. Uh, swear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey, uh, Mr. Yak, you need a tune up on this bit, bruh. She. Go a little bit, a little bit further. There we go. I tried to park that bitch. Hit that boy. Watch this parking. Watch this parking. Huh? 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 Yeah, see? Ran over the curve and everything. See? Yeah. Didn't even feel the curve. That's how Bertha roll. We don't feel no bumps in this bitch. Hi. Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How you doing today? Wait, wait. <clears throat> Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thanks. Ah, feeling like a nice cup of Joe and a steak and egg combo. Or burgers. She said burgers. Oh, good evening, I'm Barba. Are you ready to order? Sure. What kind of gift for you today? Uh, meatball sub with chicken nuggies. Cheeseburger with fries. Can I get Ed's secret sauce? Grilled cheese sandwich with onion? Nah, we're gonna go with the cheeseburger. Ah, our burgers are the best in the week. Wait, wait. 
Our burger is the best in the wheat in the oh in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Uh Strawberry slush sounds fucking awesome. Let's get a strawberry slush. Perfect. Anything else? That'd be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything, dear. What did the old, the old waitresses say when they're in diners, hun? They call you hun and babe and sugar. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything, hun. Sounds good. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, folk. Gee. Always had this habit of peeing before eating. I guess we gotta pee. Anybody in here? Good. Cause I'm about to drain this big ass slong. Okay. Can we aim? <laughs> we can aim. <laughs> That's fire. I'm not missing this time. Nigga, you need some water, bro. This is yellow. Flush the toilet. Now wash your hands. Don't be nasty. Wash your hand now, boy. Up, up, up. I have a sixth sense. Our food is coming. Why are you walking so slow? I am hungry. Bring your ass, Barbara. Damn, that shake big. That's slushy big as hell. God damn. Thanks. I mean, shit. Can I get some napkins or something? French fries? Some Tabasco sauce to put on my shit? Oh, that's some. My bad. There's napkins right here. My bad, Barbara. There's some ketchup right here. My bad, Barbara. You good? You good? I'm chilling. Consuming. I figured I'd give it. Wait, I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Guess you can't put ketchup on the fries. It's not a ketchup person, I understand. Boo doo doo, Kelly, you're gonna have to wait. This goddamn fool hit. You were right. The best in the West. Got a brain freeze now because it got down slushy, but you know it is what it is. About 4,000 calories right here. Now, what you want, Kay? So, did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. I thought it was three messages. No? Okay. Bet. Are we done? Are we done? God damn, Kay. Told you. Hee hee. Woo! Hey. Did you enjoy the food? Did you enjoy the food, sugar? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Uh, check, please. Okay, I'll be right back, hon. Thanks. The fuck the cake won't. Uh... This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new look at. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Send it, send you, send you... Send it to you in a bit. <laughs> Here's the check. Your total is 7.6. 7.6, sir. I don't know how much this man got. He ain't got nothing. He work in the forestry. He ain't got shit. I'm gonna go ahead and do 15. I'm gonna go ahead and 15. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no big baller yet. Who went to the bathroom? Hope you enjoy the rest of the ride. Thanks. Who went to the bathroom? Cause I closed that door. Can I get anything to go? I mean, do that. I mean, do that. I mean, to get up. How you doing there, sir? Green shirt. What's up, brother? Long day of driving, huh? Where you at it? Made it up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at the Iron Bark State Park. So is it true? Yes, once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> Whatever they say happened, uh, whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. Uh, what? I need to go. Thanks for being ominous, Mr. White, white guy? Green shirt? Tan guy? Green shirt? Okay. Sir! Of exquisite fine taste. You look a little lost. Uh, just pass it through. Where are you headed? Starting a new job at a nearby state park. Ah, oh, that's great. 
You didn't know these jobs to I didn't know these jobs that existed. What do you do? Work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. It sounds interesting. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. Keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. It can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. Good for you. You probably make like a hundred thousand dollars. Let me get fifty dollars. Let me hold fifty dollars. I get I I Venmo back to you. Let me hold fifty dollars, sir. The way you're drinking a damn coffee. You got all the money in the goddamn world. Let me get fifty dollars, man. Shit. I need some gas money. What's up, brother Ben? What the fuck is wrong with your head? What's up, sir? Please leave me alone. You're not even looking at me. All right, I'll leave you be. I will leave him be. What else around here? Look at my, look at Bertha. Just big, beautiful bad bit right there. God damn. Look at that ass too. As wide as all outside. Damn, I can't believe I got that thing for fifteen thousand dollars, man. That's the best goddamn thing. Who the hell up in here? Who the hell am I goddamn birthing? Who opened the goddamn door? Who in my goddamn RV? Who in here? I told you about opening my goddamn door and shit. It's not jammed. Someone's in there, bro. Hey, right, come out, come out here. I know you fucking in here. You ain't shitting in my goddamn toilet. Bitch, I swear, oh, motherfucker, I swear, I got that. I swear, fuck, I swear, for God, you come out here, this bitch, and I'm driving. I wreck this entire goddamn thing. I flip everything over. I randomly heard a noise. Watch. Ghost. Oh. Oh shit! I'm sorry. 802. Boom. That's my jam. Yeah. Oh. Man. Oh. Go. What are you doing? I want to include, wait, I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the other utter horrors I've seen in the woods. All right. We got the lo-fi on, the country lo-fi, I bet. Cool. We got unstuck because procrastination. Oh, per pers pers perseverance. Pers per we, we we don't give up. I got a flashlight. Welcome to Gay Day. What do you say if I go to Gay Day? Uh, just park here on the back gravel, park by gate D. Oh, on a foot. It'll take the Gold Creek Trail. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, 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 I was right. Exit, bitch. Do that. So, it's this one. I fucked up and let it get too damn dark. Hey, open the damn door. I'm the new, uh, lookout guy. Ah! Ah, bitch! Holy moly, you scared the fuck out of me! Thought you were one of them. Nigga, you scared the fuck out of me! May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your apartment, please? I'm, nigga, I'm not a camper, bitch. I'm, I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I ain't know we were hiding this season. Hang on, let me check on that. What'd you find, Officer Winslow? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're stabbed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for your confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. 
tanks. For nothing. Let me open a trail gate for you. Let me steal something. You scared the shit out of me. You might as well give me the courtesy of stealing some damn shit. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thought I might need one. Take care. Wait. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to Ironbark Path. Now, for your purposes, when you get to your tower, you be sure. Wait, wait. Be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safety. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your close contact in case of any emergency. I just want to say fuck off. Can, thanks. Can I, can I have that? Yeah. Nick, I'm trying to go, man. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or, or, or so north of your tower. Is that where you hide the dead bodies at? Dangerous woods, that's why, pal. Bobcats and birds. Nasty business. Thanks. Got it. Fucker. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. How far is Iron Bark? It don't even say. He just says, stay on the trail. I left my bag in the RV at, uh, huh? I'm gonna get my bag, cause, uh, I'm not trying to do this and then be like, oh, damn, I left my bag in the RV. I gotta go back and get it. Type beat. this door no that's interesting you can't lock this door it's just unlocked all righty let's go living in fire tower is just not a glamorous job did i miss some uh, uh shit down there imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time it's not for everyone Utility shack. Oh, yeah, brother. But I've always found that I had a fondness for this. Um, okay. There's another flashlight. There's a wind machine. See how fast the wind going. Bear spray. Binoculars. Uh huh. Whatever that is. All right. All right. We got wood. Yes, sir. We got we got gasoline. Dale, dale, gasolina. And then we got some for welding. Cool. I sent the stairs to the top of the tower. You loud as fuck. That's what you. That's what you is. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look out for fires or anything out of the ordinary. I don't see nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, let's go. Hi, guys. The cabin was filled with the room of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Very bad. Thought that was a bat. Uh, forgot to turn the generator on at first. Of course. Of course I would. Of course I'd do that. Yep, you know me. The generator. All right, well. We only should have. Let's go settle in for the night. That sucks that it's way down here. Oh, nope. 
There we go. Alright, cool, cool. Now what we do? Oh, we gotta do a weather report. Um All the cosmos follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after twelve PM. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in a lookout. <laughs> this password is Iron Bark Tower Number. Okay, Iron Bark Eleven. Cool, cool. Refill the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Liddy titty. Let's give a report. Red equipment was sitting on a wood table. Um, Windows 98. God damn. Uh, right. Let's go. I am a hacker. Ding ding. Okay. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusted virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. Thank you, Smiley. Surprise, you found me. How can I assist you today? Um, welcome to the state of the art service reporting software. Do do Connor Isn't that the job I've had to cover your area until you arrived sorry about that Connor anyways what brings you to this towering paradise of ours <laughs> an experienced comrade I can see why Mitch picked you you got a fire going get her lit the temperature is about to plummet you don't want to sit through the storm shivering damn my man Con Kana Kana. Now we got to go back downstairs. Great. How many? I'm going to. If it allows me, I'm going to get multiple. If, I, if it just doesn't say I need one. Dark as fuck out here, bro. We got a few. Uh, I'm gonna get more. If it lets me get more, I'm gonna get more. I wanna stock up and not have to fucking worry about shit. There we go. I think one stack will last like one night or whatever. So we'll see what happens. I hope there's gas in that uh, gas can up there. I'm gonna grab the gas can just in case. Nah, I'm gonna leave it down there. supposed to fucking douse this bitch? I don't feel like that's gonna go well. There we go. Finally. Fuck. Ah, I see it. 
Yeah, thanks. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Let's get the wind sensor. It is 19 knots. I found the temperature. Take temperature. Over here. Is it this? The temperature was forty five point four nineteen knots. Temperature is forty five point four and then nineteen knots. Clear number of hikers assisted zero. <laughs> I don't know my last, my first name. You copy, new guy. Tower eleven, copy. <laughs> State Park Trail Map. Whether you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. All right, bet. Pegasus Pass. Where are we? Otokomi, Otokomi Lake. Old radio tower. Oh, two tower twelve. Oh, tower elevens are here. Damn, we're right by the lake then. It's closed. Okay. Okay, here we go. There's Gold Creek Trail right here. That's probably where our RV is. Okay. Ready? Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand.
keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Only you can prevent forest fire. It is what? Top of the morning. Complete uh, watching the employee training video. Okay, cool. You can probably call it a night then, huh? What you call it? I ain't texting back? Nah. Oh, I ain't got no service. That's why. Three twenty six AM. The witching hour. Far so going, far so going. Man said I gotta pee. <laughs> My first night being out of the cabin gave me a strange feeling. Uh, being left there alone was unsettling. <laughs> yep. Sir, a long way down there, buddy. Damn, bro, you need to drink some water. <laughs> Bitch, I threw my goddamn flashlight. God damn it. Saw somebody. Saw somebody. Night two. I didn't mean to throw my flashlight. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. Is that the other? Oh, that's his tower. Yes, sir, -y, Bob. Ain't this the life? Uh huh. There was a fucking person right here, bro. With what? My phone? Oh, okay.
Look at that, I'm a photographer. Let me get my flash. Right. God fucking Connor, goddamn. Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? It's a big 10 4, Connor. Tower 11, do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Man, oh, look. Uh, let's see what the disturbance is out here, brother. Oh, yeah. I see it. The smoke is white. Indicative of a campfire. That bitch is far, though. <laughs> digga, digga, do. I just want to know who was out last night with the goddamn, with the goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I see it, Connor. I need you to confirm. You yes. Smoke up north? Yes. Yes, my nigga, I see it. I need to get my flashlight from down there, though. Can I get my flashlight first? Get about that white smoke up north? It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Because of the wind? Am I checking it out? Okay. Yes, do you have any other detail? Uh, okay, headed north. I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Lacey Trail, 3.2 miles. God damn. Oh, yeah, bears. Yeah, oh, yeah, bear. Yeah, bear. Eight thirty-two p.m. It took you all day. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. It took you all day. You probably—it's a dude who fucking found a bear. Hey, guess what? I don't have flashlight. Are you okay? Damn! Reply back to me. Hey, you're not supposed to be uh goddamn out here with the fucking out there with the bullshit. What the fuck is it? Oh, that's water. Wait, what is that? That's water. Hello? hear somebody walking but like I had to get water to put on it okay go sorry I just got home beds did you reach us and pigs jack are you okay over this gay sorry gay I didn't expect it was a service okay if you from a tire I'm gonna get out of here the freaks come out that night what 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 would anybody I hide back to my tower through the dark. I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. We're just gonna go up. 
He's gonna go up. Tana! Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Connor, you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? No, sir. Son of a bitch. Bitch of a son. They never learn, do they? <sighs> what do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot lately? This is the third time this month alone. It's a lot. Anything else you notice in those woods? Uh, yeah. The scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What happened to those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. People have started spreading oh. rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Oh, uh, a whistle? Whistle, you say? He almost got me then. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. People love thrill. People love excitement. People love the unknown. People love horror. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. Urgently. That's unsettling. You guy? I hope you don't believe those rumors. Uh, oh, absolutely not. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. <laughs> A gooner. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Over and out. Over and out. I still hear the whistling. Nope. Nope. We're going back up. We're going back up. I didn't hear anything. Didn't hear anything. Didn't see anything. Yes, sir. Now let's take the wind. Let's get this over with. <sighs> oh, she'll be riding in them blazes when she gone. 21 knocks. Sir. Twenty one knots. Forty seven forty eight seven. Forty eight seven. Uh twenty one, forty eight seven. It's cloudy. Number of hikers assisted. I didn't help anybody. Reported by Nelson. My first name Jack. Yeah. All right, but let's uh let's do something. Um, oh shit. Pizza pasta bake. Uh, uh same shit. So. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozz, and tomatoes. Let's go ahead and make that. So, pasta, marinara sauce. Uh, wait, what? Marinara sauce right here. Get can put a bit more right here. 
Don't break that bit, bro. Goddamn. Um. Pepperonis. Yeah. Pepperoni. Pasta. That looks like pasta, right? This is macaroni. That might be it. Salmon, anchovies. That might be it. I think that's it. Gee, what else? Uh, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperonis, mozz cheese, and diced tomatoes. Ice tomatoes, bitch. Ice tomatoes and what is it? Mozzarella cheese. No. Mozzarella. That looks like cheese. We're gonna do this. I bet. Let's close this back up. Alright, I mean, you could uh, put it back in there, you know. <laughs> Fuck it. At this point, I was starving. Right here. Had to get all the ingredients. Uh, Kayla's recipe asked for. I did. I, I did. Had a feeling I was missing something. What? What the fuck? Am I? Okay. Do we have to put it in order? There we go. There we go. I guess it doesn't matter. Pepperoni. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Easy bake oven. Hey guy, you there? God damn, Connor, you're fucking scared the shit out of me every time. Hey guy. <sighs> Connor? Uh, you just reported their ass to the authorities. Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of their mind. Right? Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and Ooh. out. Over and out, buddy boy. Ah, oh, yeah, brother. Just remember the smell of the fresh, sizzling chaz. I like eating in bed. So do I. No! How do I consume? There we go. Ooh, yummy. Yummy in my tummy. Yes, ooh. Ooh. Num 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 nums. Num 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 num. Carb overload. Carb. What the fuck? That gas thing upside down. It's gonna drain out. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. I like pasta. Pasta loves me. I was already full. All right, you little bitch then, shit. What a carbed overloaded. You know what I mean? Uh, we're gonna close that. I guess we'll put it right here for now. I uh, could have kept it in the refrigerator. Fine. Picky fucker. Could have kept it in the refrigerator. There we go. Wait, if that's the case, hands are full. My hands are full. My hands are full. Whatever. Let's go to bed. 326 AM. Oh. 227 AM. I was walking up a feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Nigga.
nigga is staring at my window. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Either. Can I just go to sleep? What happens if I just go to sleep? I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Good man. Good man. The lights still on down there? Yeah, the lights are still on. So that's what we're gonna do. Close her. Hey, Connor? Connor? Do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. You there? Do you have any idea what time it is? Bitch, I know what time it is, ho! You just couldn't wait until morning? Nigga. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. You don't, this is serious, you don't understand, do you? Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Alright, here's what we'll do. Okay. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door. It'll be morning before you know it. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to click that, but I didn't mean to click that. Night three. Next day I woke up not being sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about last night that just felt darker. There was something strange happening in those woods. 834 34? 834 pum. What the fuck? I can't see shit in these goddamn things. I occupy most of this uh, by scanning. Okay, okay, okay. Can I clean these bitches? Or by scanning the density. Uh, my paranoia for the woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Okay. Oh. There we go. I was like, what the fuck? Look, like, ain't no goddamn way. Bruh. Bruh, come on now. Big dog, come on. I 
Alrighty then. Oh, what the fuck is that? Is that red smoke? Hello? Is anyone there? Bitch! I, I need help! Please, someone answer. What you doing out there by yourself, the uh, camper? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Very loud and clear, though, honey. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. All right. Okay. Okay. What's going on? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. Uh... What's your, what's your current uh, location? I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. It all looks the same there, buddy. Huh? I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Oh. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Oh, that was him. Uh, I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Walking west and he remembers walking east? He had to walk east. Now he's walking west. So he's coming, going back. Oh, going back. Thank goodness. I see it. To, uh, see what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Uh, bitch. I, shit, I don't know. <laughs> Nose running. Why is it making a noise? Nigga. Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. I don't know where he's at. He said he was heading east and now he's going west. Oh, but he's over here. I saw the thing. Uh, he said there's a creek? Closing the winters. No, he must be on. He must be down here. Go Creek Trail. Oh, go Creek. There's a creek. Um, I just said go left. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. I'm right here! What do you mean? I hear you! I hear your whistles. What? What? I see you behind the trees to my right. You, you're freaking me out. That's the uh, person coming to check on me. Yeah, that's them coming to check on me. What you want, Ranger? Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check on you. What you up to, pal? At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyway, it's got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. Here you go. Feel like you're gonna pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. What were you doing there last night? Wait a minute. Up north, why were you up there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. 
Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and birds. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. There's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything were to happen. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been in a bit on it. I've been on, been a bit on edge. Everything all right? Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without evidence. You fuck. You motherfucker. Why didn't I think about that? Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watching. Thanks. Have a good day. All right. All right, here, buddy. Since you're so goddamn hungry, would not I? Put it in there. Warm it up. 420. If the lighting looks different, I'm sorry. I like eating in bed. You can hide now. That's crazy. Nummy, 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 nummy. Nummy, yum, 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 yum. Carb overload. Nummy, yum, yum, yum. Uh, uh, insulin spike. Uh. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Give me a fucking heart attack, bitch! I understand. Loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Fuck. <sighs> no need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. So oh, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. I'm just sure that the right messages read the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right. Uh, absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn. No amount of prevention can stop them. Nature has its own plan. Some things can be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify thyself. Silas, dear Silas, have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Bob. Light that thing up there, buddy boy. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. 
What? New guy. You there? You could fucking wait, Connor. God damn it. There we go. Shit. Don't tell me you're not in there. Anywhere. Underwear. You copy now. Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran in silence downstairs. You ran into who? Guy maintained a nearby radio station? <sighs> Just about yesterday. What do you, you mean? trying to yank my chain now? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. Which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Who the fuck did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. How? He knew my name, bitch! You, know you think he's been listening? Um, uh, but you've never said... Oh, actually, I think I did something there. Possibly, I'm not sure. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Yeah, people don't care about car park guidelines, buddy boy. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Anyways, sure. I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. What the fuck is happening over here in Tower 11, bitch? My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off for the night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in the woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Damn. I slept for two days? 9-18 Pim. Uh, sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Oh. They wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really my thing. Of course, Connor. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Foreshadowing. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Sure. Oh. Update. What is this? CHK check verge and then I guess we'll just do upstay update package version 221 okay it's pretty catch found. Um, 10, 45 maybe? Line not available. What am I? Uh, okay, 10, 45 not available. 10, 98 not available. 45, so 54, 87. Lit. Your system is up to date now. In this situation, I'm 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 just going to sleep. Who? Connor, why? Connor. What's his name? Jake, Jack. There we go. Why would you leave all the windows open, first of all?
What the fuck? Now let me close these bitches. Essentially what happened is I ran out of gas. Running out of time. Oh yeah. It was getting cold and I had to pee. Bitch, ain't nobody. Glitch much? Okay. One week later. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's uh, generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. And there were no fires going on. The only thing I do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. Fuck. We got another one. What? I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? Bitch. Uh. Jack, you copy? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? That made sense was to take evidence of it.
Huh? I'm going, goddammit. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I don't know where to go, but I'm going. This nigga can... What was I supposed to do? Adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation in the area, but of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Neb. Neb is the artist who'll be singing that shit. All right, Neb. Another successful as 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 a, as a fun episode. Rayel. That one was that one was good. That one was good. The two jump scares scared the shit out of me though. Random ass nigga in the woods. Let's go on the maintenance guy. How'd he do? Gameplay was a ten. Audio was a ten. Storyline was a ten. I love these. And we got one more to play too. Man, if you enjoyed this episode, like, comment, subscribe. 
let me know a horror game you want to see down below the fears to fathom playlist is in the description below go watch all of them because i'm playing number five really soon until next time how at your boy